Hey coaches, let's go ahead and let's talk about Saturday, March 25th, okay? So, it's going to be a partner workout, okay? So, we got big sets, we have two movements, deadlift and bench press, okay? We all know how to do a deadlift, we all know how to do a bench press, we will also have videos on how to do those two movements. So let's quickly just go over how we should set up for this workout, okay? Um, especially because you might have people that two people that are doing different weights, that's fine. However, they will need to strategize and prioritize how they want to do that weight. They're going to have to remove weight, add weight back on, making sure that it's the same weight. Unless there are people that are around the same uh, same weight, okay? Um, really for this workout, just to keep it fair for everybody, we're only going to do two barbells per team, okay? So one for the bench, one for the deadlift, okay? So if I have a man and a woman pairing up together, um, then the exception will be is you can have one woman bar for the deadlift, but both of you can bench with the male bar, okay? So you'd have three bars in that instance. Everybody else, it's one bar for each of those movements, okay? If you have questions about that, make sure you let us know, because I wanna try to keep that aspect of it as fair as possible, moving through that bench into the deadlift, okay? Um, so you're gonna do, I'm gonna just go over our brown athlete, so we'll do 42 deadlifts, 42 bench press, 30 deadlift, 30 bench, 18 deadlift, 18 bench, rest three minutes, um, it's a you go, I go, and you switch whenever you want, okay? So only one partner's working at a time. Once you guys get through that bulk of work, you're then going to rest three minutes, and then we're going to hit the same amount of reps, okay? Um, but our weight will actually go down, okay? So we start with a heavier weight, and then that weight is going to decrease before that second round when we're a little bit more tired, okay? Um, the time cap on this one is 30 minutes, okay? So we should have a little bit of time for people to do the extra credit. We've got some good Russian kettlebell swing stuff. We also got some lunges, different things like that to work different things. We have some side bends, just to kind of get some good accessory work in there on those Saturdays, okay? Um, a good way for us to also do that is to have stations set up, okay? I find that when we have stations for these extra credits, when we give you that extra time, it makes people excited to do it because they're kind of like, hey, we're just doing it as a partnership. I can kind of talk to my friend that's across from me doing a different movement. You can make it every two minutes on the minute and kind of rotate them through. Every minute on the minute, rotate them through. Um, that's the best way that I've found to get everyone excited about the extra credit because some people just sometimes don't want to do it, okay? And we really can benefit from um, incorporating at least one or two days of these extra accessory movements to our athletes, okay? Um, please let me know if you have any questions about this workout. Um, this one should be a nice little fun, almost kind of like Linda, but not quite as nasty. So uh, have fun, and I will see you guys next week.